Nagpulis kayo para magsindikato. Ha? Nagpulis kayo para papahiya yung uh, uniform. An angry PNP chief Ronald De La Rosa confronts seven policemen linked to the kidnapping and robbery of three Korean nationals in Angela City December last year. Legitimate! Bakit niyo pinira? Bakit niyo binugbog? Anong klaseng legitimate operasyon? Ikaw, anong tutunan mo sa training service? Anong tutunan mo? Pag-training mo? Bakit ganun ang ginawa niyo? While at it, he also scolded officials of the Pampanga police. Kaya kayong official kayo. Kaya nagkaganito itong mga tao ninyo. Dahil kayo pabaya, ha? Front leaning position. Move. The alleged corrupt policemen were even ordered on stationary push-up position for around 10 minutes. Malakas yung maghablot ng Koreano. Tingnan natin yung malakas kayo ngayon. Napailan namin kagabi yung pito na yon for uh, kidnap for ransom at saka robbery. So that will be their uh, criminal case. Uh, Mag-uumpisa na rin yung summary hearing nila for the administrative case. I, I feel for the matitino na police. Doon ako humuhugot ng sama ng loob dahil yung mga polis na, na nag, nagtatrabaho at uh, binubuhis yung buhay, nadadamay dito sa mga na ito. Kaya gustong gusto ko talaga i-pairing squad dito mga polis na ito. President Duterte stripped the PNP of its authority to carry out anti-illegal drugs operations after a number of policemen were linked to a series of criminal activities. De La Rosa admits this caused demoralization among their ranks including the now-defunct Anti-Illegal Drugs Group, or AIDG. Unlike his rage on the Pampanga policemen, De La Rosa expressed his support to around 350 former AIDG officers. Their units were disbanded on Monday. I am very, very proud of you. Without your accomplishments, without your dedication, without your hard work, yung war on drugs natin, Walang national impact. De La Rosa asks former AIDG personnel to make sure all drug cases will be followed up despite their reassignments to other units. He assures the policemen he would provide support for those attending court hearings to secure a conviction of drug lords. George Hales, CNN Philippines.